hello students first of all thank you for the support you all have given to the first part eight videos of the previous year questions we have posted uh, we were very grateful to the support which you all gave in the videos and we were very happy to read the comments which you all gave in those videos so we are back with a part nine of the previous year question series where we discussed the previous year questions which were asked in CUET 2022 and uh, to help you out with the pattern in which questions are being asked and to clarify your doubts related to the topics. So stay connected for further videos. I'm Devyansh Gupta, your mentor for food science and technology. Coming straight away to the question for our this video, the given below are two statements. One is labeled as assertion and another one is labeled as reason. So we have assertion reason based questions. Uh, you uh, may have observed that around 10 to 15 questions are from assertion reason based and many are matched the following questions. Then we have true false based questions. So first we have is fermentation is a sustainable method of food preservation. Yes, because it is utilizing your various byproducts which are released by your uh, processing industries. Then fermentation process requires low energy input in processing. Yes. It is also true because there is not very much energy input which is required in processing during your fermentation steps. It's all uh, your microbes which are which are working. So both A and uh, assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of A. This question was asked in CUET 2022. So coming to the next question, we have another assertion reason based questions in which GMP are not essential for HACCP and ISO 22000. We all know that no, it is not true. Uh, they both are very important in HACCP and ISO 22000. Good manufacturing practices is one of the part of ISAP and ISO. Then GMP include cleaning, sanitation, unidirectional flow of man and materials, personal hygiene, good storage practices, documentation, layout and design. So these all are parts of your GMP. So this statement is correct. So this is false and this is correct. So let's read the options. So from this, I guess fourth is the most optimum question for most optimum answer for this question. That is first is false. Second is true. So this is fourth as the right answer for this question. Then we have next question as starches with low amylose to amylopectin ratio act as good thickening agent. Yes, it is true. Then amylose form intense cross linkages while amylopectin does not participate in cross linkages. Yes, this is also true and it is explaining the first statement. So part one, that means your first option is the right answer for this question. That means both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion. Then coming to the next question we have is your match the following. So we have to match the cereal based products and your different uh, products which are made from your material. So cereal based product is your pasta. That means your third is the first option. Then sugar based products that include your licorice. So fourth, then meat based products is your frankfurter. That means your one and fat based product is your margarine. That means your uh, hydrogenated vegetable oil. That means your two. So this makes out three, four, one and two. That means your first is the right answer for this question so one is the most optimum answer for this question you may mark this as correct then coming to the next question we have is thermophilic microorganism we all know that thermophilic are those which are able to survive at your normal ambient conditions that means a 30 to 40 degrees celsius and optimum is 55 to 65 degrees celsius so uh, your third option is the first answer then mesophilic mesophilic will be your near about your cold storage temperature that is a 5 to 10 degrees celsius that means optimum is 30 to 40 degrees celsius then difference is there in psychrophilic and psychrotrophic you should be very well clear about this also because psychrophilics are those which grow at below uh, one, uh, 0 to 5 degrees celsius but the optimum is 12 to 18 degrees celsius psychrotrophic are those which grow at 0 to 5 but optimum is 20 to 30 degrees celsius so the sequence for this question comes out to be three, uh, four, two and one. So this is the most optimum sequence for this question, which makes as three, four, two and one uh, C part as the right answer for this question. Then coming to the next question, we have different types of a farinograph, extensograph, solvent retention capacity and amylograph. This is from your wheat unit where uh, we check the different uh, qualities of your starches. So uh, for this question, uh, uh, farinograph is the water absorption and mixing requirements for your dough development. Then for extensograph, it uh, measures the resistance to extension and elasticity of dough. Then uh, for your uh, solvent retention capacity, it will uh, measure the gluten and damaged starch and the pentosem content. Then amylograph will measure the enzyme activity and the viscosity. And 
analysis. So for 70, uh, for sorry, for, for this question, it comes out to be your uh, 4, 3, 1 and 2 as the right sequence for this question. So 4, 3, 1 and 2 is your B part. That is your C, uh, sorry, second option as the right answer for this question. Then coming to the next, we have a question from your HACCP. So uh, we have to arrange them in the correct order of your HACCP. So first of all, we'll be having hazard analysis. Then that means A is the first option. Then we have to establish critical limits. That means D is the next sequence for this. Then we have corrective action. That means your B. Then we have verification. That means your C. Then we have validation. That means your last step. That is your E. So A, D, B, C is the correct sequence for this question. A, D, B, C, E is your third part. That means the C option. And this question was also asked in 2022. Then coming to the next question, that means your last question for this series is arrange the order of events during pickle production. So for pickle production, first of all, we have to wash the fruits and vegetables which we want to make pickle. Then we have to go for size reduction. That is a very important step because you cannot use the whole vegetable for making pickle. Then we have to go for brining. That means we have to write the sequence also. So A is the first. First, then we have branding that is your C part. Then we have to go for pickling. That means your B part. Then we have your uh, addition of preservatives. You have to add any preservative like uh, your vinegar or your oil. If you want to add then any other uh, artificial preservatives which you want to add chemical based or uh, microbial based. If you want to add then you can add them. So E is the next step and then is your packaging. So packaging is always the last step and we discuss that in packaging unit also very often these questions will have the packaging as a last step so that can be also uh, like in this question you can see that d is the last step so straight away if you can see that d is the last step and packaging is the last option so you can straight away mark first as the right answer but we have to check with the other options also in order to make sure that you are marking the right answer you should not be in hurry and you should read the questions properly before marking any answer so this is the correct sequence for this answer and here we end all the questions of our CUET that is your 2022. So next series onwards, we'll be coming on to the questions from 2023. So this was all which we covered from CUET 2022. We had a detailed explanation of almost all of the questions which were from your uh, food science and technology. And if in case you have any doubt in any of the questions or you want a detailed explanation of any of the topic which was discussed in this video or is coming in your exam for food science and technology, then you may comment down your queries and we'll be very happy to clarify all your doubts. If you want any guidance related to joining your batch and if you are having any doubt in uh, concept clearance of any topic, then you may contact on the number given on the website. They will connect you uh, with me and I'll be very happy to clarify all your doubts. You may connect with me on LinkedIn also if you want to uh, clear any doubts related to admission and if you want any guidance related to which university to join that also will be posting very soon in the videos. So stay connected for us and uh, in part 10 we'll be going on with 2023. So stay connected with us and all the best for your exams. So that was all for this video. This was Devanshu Gupta, your mentor for food science and technology.